I've been sewing a lot lately and working on new sewing patterns. It's taken a lot longer than I originally anticipated and afforded me a lot of hidden time. Of course, I still make videos and share tutorials, but a lot of my days have been sewing samples, photo shoots, and behind a computer. All very exciting things, but it's making me realize we don't talk about these hidden moments much. The hidden moments are a gift, but it doesn't mean that they aren't difficult. But the more I learn, the more I embrace the hidden moments. And I'm also learning that to embrace the hiddenness of life, you have to embrace things looking different than you thought or going slower than you imagined, which is, in fact, another hidden gift in it all. With the fast-paced, 15-second viral videos and constant news cycle, it can be tempting to try to keep up or even tempting to think that things should happen as quickly as you watch the tutorial. I think that's the tension I've learned with Rooney. Forgive me if I've talked about this before, but I guess this lesson keeps coming up for a reason. I've been sewing these dresses and patterns over weeks. I know you watch a 10 to 20 minute video and think that it just all comes together that fast, but those videos are edited it's days of sewing and all edited so that you can watch it in one sitting and take those things to make it yourself. I got sick for a week, which set me back and weather hasn't cooperated. Admin stuff has come up and even the reality that sewing a dress takes time and attention to detail. The beauty comes when I embrace my limit, sink into hiddenness, take a break, and remember that good things take time. Becoming a mom has taught me endless lessons, but hiddenness is one that has magnified as a gift. There are moments we share with others, but mainly the day in and day out of showing up for my daughter and husband is a sacred, hidden act. One that is refining me and making me more into the image of Christ. I hope. And I think about you, how you have your own form of hiddenness. Perhaps you're a nurse that works the night shift. Seeing things that only a rare few see, carrying the weights of your patients and serving them. Or perhaps you're fresh out of high school and all your friends are going off to college. I think of you who don't feel like you found your passion yet. Or maybe you're a stay-at-home mom trying to navigate a new season of being at home. We all have these hidden moments. Wherever you are, it can be jolting when we're taught to be hidden is a curse or a punishment. Those unseen moments are so special when we allow them to be. I love how Alicia Britt Cole puts it in her book, Anonymous. It is critical we not mistake unseen for unimportant. These are the places we be and become when we recognize we are completely loved and whole in these moments. It doesn't have to be the big, the exciting, and seen moments of life. Alicia Brick Cole compares this type of life to an iceberg. It's 90% unseen and 10% seen. I want to live that kind of life. Another thing that I'm also realizing is with these moments, I have a lot of time to think, a lot of time to plan in my head, and a lot of time to just see where my mind is naturally going. I also have a lot of time to kind of give in to distraction. 
to give in to seeing what other people are doing and give in to thoughts that I have to live up to a certain way of living. But these hidden moments when I kind of calm those thoughts and come back to what I truly know is real and true, I know that that they are a gift and I want to lean into embracing them more. The quote also stood out to me from the book Anonymous, that time is not really spent. Instead, it is invested in a future we cannot see. So in your hidden moments today, I hope you invest your time well. You invest it in what is important to you and the values that you hold. And I hope it is invested in learning and growing and spending time doing the things that matter to you and your family and build you up. And remind you of how these day-to-day moments are a gift. I want to share a little bit about these hidden moments and something that has been a gift to me personally and my daughter in these moments, and that is Love Every. I have shared about them in the past because we love these boxes. We love getting them and opening them and adding these play things to our rotations. And once I'm done sewing for the day, I go pick up my daughter from school and we come home and we just have this uninterrupted time to play and to be at home and to embrace the space that we have. And one thing that we've loved during the summer is her recent Love Every box had this sink in it and we actually had one of these sinks before from Amazon and it broke within a week, which was so disappointing because My daughter loves playing with water and loves a sink and loves doing dishes. And so we got this one from Love Every and it has lasted us months, which has been such a nice 
thing to know that we've invested in something that's quality, that is going to last, that isn't just going to break once she uses it in a week. And that's what I love about these toys and playthings is they're investing into her future. They're investing into her as a individual. And I have just loved seeing the intentionality behind these boxes and how when we open them, we know they are exactly what Willow needs. So if you're looking for something for your daughter to play while you even take the time to do something that you love, that's something I love about Love Every is I can be next to her doing my own thing and she is just wrapped up in these playthings that are designed just for her age. Mm-hmm.